Hello, this is Paul Bo Brookins, and welcome back to How to Play Dwarf Fortress. We are on part 11 right now. In the last video, we got started making our uh, food. We got, uh, we made a trade depot, trade depot, and we uh, dug out our bedrooms here. Uh, which our miners are just now finishing up so I can show you how to place furniture um, I'll go ahead and hit resume so they can finish digging those last couple of spaces there and yeah there they got last couple of spaces dug out that we want to dig out down here on this level so that's good they got all of that done before they moved on to a new area which is rare sometimes uh, so we'll go ahead and build our furniture for our bedrooms. Um, we do that using the B button for building and um, we're going to want to build three things for each bedroom. We want a bed obviously and I usually put it in the middle of the room. I just don't know. It's a personal preference. And then you can select all of uh, any of these types of beds. These are basically all the beds that they made out of different types of wood. And you can select any of them. You can also hit X if you want to um, expand it out and it will show you the quality. Um, this is a good time to talk about the quality of items. Uh, depending on how skilled your uh, your crafter is, um, they will have a chance at building a higher quality item. A uh, regular item will look like this. It just has the words, this is a cedar bed, a regular quality cedar bed. And then there's one line added for each, um, each skill level or each quality level that you go up. Uh, let me see if I can bring up a... Um, so this one line beside on either side of the item means that it's the next highest quality and these two lines uh, in a cross means that it's the next higher quality up from that um, and let me bring in this which I just brought up on the Wikipedia page um, so like I said, the the regular item quality will just have the name. The next one will just have lines beside it. It's called Well Crafted, and it increases the value. Um, the next one has a plus sign, which means there's two lines. Next is a star, which means there's three lines crossed together. The next one after that is um, three lines stacked up on top of each other. Really that's just a square which means four lines. And then after that there's this uh, crazy star thing which means that um, it's masterful which is the highest quality that you can make uh, in, under normal circumstances. Also there's uh, artifact value which only happens in certain cases when your dwarves go crazy and they take over a workshop and just start making whatever they want without you giving them any orders. Um, we'll go over that whenever that actually happens in the game. But just to let you know that um, your dwarves can make things of different quality and if you hit X you can view that quality. If you hit X again it'll minimize it and you can just select the type of bed that it is the type of material it, it was made out of. So we're just, all of them are basically going to have the same quality at this time because our carpenter isn't great um, yet. So we're just going to place whatever in whatever room. Um, we don't have anyone that's real finicky about having really nice things either yet. So we'll just um, go ahead and give them all the same type of bed. So we got all eight of our bedrooms with beds. Um, so if you noticed, I didn't describe what I was doing. Let's go ahead and I'll show you the doors. Um, 
you just place it and then you can press enter on the type. All of these doors are made out of dolomite that we made out of the tin. So you just hit enter and it will place it. It's not placed yet. You actually have to have a uh, dwarf go and get it from wherever it's sitting and bring it here and basically install it into the place where you assigned it to be. But um, you've designated it basically. Um, you're going to build it in that spot. So let's go ahead and build doors on all. Oops. Let's go ahead and build doors on all our bedrooms here. And again, we're not really worried about quality, so we don't have to hit X to expand out the selection. Uh, then we hit H for container. H obviously stands for container. Um, and you can see all of these. There's a large list of things that you can build. And at some point you might build them all, but a lot of them um, you won't really need initially. Um, but it is good to kind of familiarize yourself with some of the things you can build. So let's go ahead and build. Yeah, we got some quartzite coffers. Um, I like to save the bags for other things. So we'll not place any of the bags. Okay, we've got five bags left over. We got three bedrooms that don't have any furniture in them. So we'll. Um, are not furniture. We'll have three bedrooms without any uh, containers in them, any chests, uh, because our person in upstairs is still making the chests. So here come all the people who didn't have jobs, uh, bringing all the furniture. You can see this guy brought this chest to be placed right here, uh, and well, it looks like everyone's staying pretty busy because it's taken them a while to get the furniture down here. So um, that's a good sign. We've got a lot going on right now. We'll go ahead and go back upstairs and check out what's going on. They've dug this hallway for our stockpiles. Uh, looks like another one's coming. You see that blinking now. He's going to come back and start digging again. There we go. And we've got a lot of food production going on. Our guys are still making cheese, still brewing, uh, making meals. There's nobody doing that right now. Uh, either one of those right now but um, and you can see let me pause it here you can see that we've got a mushroom fully grown and it looks like there's a blank space here where there was a mushroom that's already been harvested and uh, they've already taken it to the food stockpile so um, you want to make sure that you have room in a stockpile for any food as it grows because if you don't have room in a stockpile it will just uh, stay in the farm and rot um, going to go ahead and build another farm plot. Oop, I hit P for um, pile, for stockpile. We need to hit B, build, and then P for farm plot. And we'll build one the same size and shape right here. And we're going to use this one to have a rotating crop of all the kind of auxiliary Oh, see, these guys, they didn't have any beds, and they didn't know about any beds. They don't have any bedrooms assigned to them, so they just kind of fell asleep where they were. Um, that's not going to make them very happy right now, but um, they don't expect a whole lot when you first start the fort, so um, they're not going to freak out or anything at this point. Um, so, yeah, we've got that going on. We've got our animals running around. We, um, our cats... Um, you may notice that we've got some kind of weird looking symbols here. Um, these are actually bones. That's a sparrow remains. Our, your cats run around and kill vermin. So um, eventually you're going to want to make a stockpile dedicated only to trash, or refuse, um, is what the game calls it. Um, and you can make another one for corpses, but you want to make sure that's separated from the rest of your fort because trash, like uh, animal bones and, and uh, human bones, you know, any type of 
dead thing will give off this thing called miasma and if your dwarfs are exposed to it then it just instantly makes them less happy so you want it to be kind of isolated um, and I'll show you how to do that later uh, once we get our miners uh, finished with what they're doing now um, so that we can mine out another section of Yeah, that one just fell asleep. He's tired. They have a lot to do early in the game. Uh, the two miners. Sometimes I'll even sacrifice the jack of all trades and I'll kind of add more uh, more skills to the other six just so I can have a third miner. I guess the other four that are doing everything other than mining. Um, just so I can have a third miner because they're so useful to, um, to get a lot of space dug out right away. Um, see, okay, so let me show you this real quick. Um, see at the bottom here it says uh, Ficod Forest Bacor Farmer is his profession. Cancels bird drink, needs distillable item. So that means he's run out of items that he can use to make booze out of. So, um, and anytime that you see a message, or anytime, even if you don't see a message, you can hit A to bring up the announcements, and it will show you all the special things that are happening in your uh, fort. Um, most of it so far has been us digging and striking new types of uh, um, rock and metal and uh, and whatnot. But this is the first message that we've gotten that is telling you something happened. So since we had brew drink on repeat, he did it until he ran out of something. So he ran out of something that he can make drinks out of. So, go into A if you want to see your announcements and see what's happening in your fort. Um, so, okay. Looks like we're about out of time. In the next video, um, I'm going to go ahead and between videos have these guys mine out this stockpile area. And I'm not really going to do much else so you don't miss anything. But um, I'm going to have this stockpile area completely mined out when I come back. And we'll go over what types of stockpiles to have that are useful to have. And we'll uh, go over several other things that's good to have at the beginning of the game. Um, all the things I've gone over are pretty essential for your fort. Uh, near uh, near the beginning of the game um, and I'll show you a couple new menus so um, until next time my name is Paul Bo Brookins like the video or subscribe if you are liking what I'm doing and uh, we'll see you next time